Number 10. The American Bobtail Although you'll hear about different types of cats with the name Bobtail, like the Japanese, the Karelian, and the American, those three breeds aren't really related. What they do have in common is a short or non-existent tail that came from a genetic mutation it shares along with the Manx cat. Crazy enough though, the Manx isn't related to any of the bobtails either. The American bobtail though is the biggest of the bobtail breeds. Females average between 7 and 11 pounds, whereas males could reach between 12 and 16 pounds. Number 9. Turkish Van Talk about a rare breed. Everybody who knows cats knows that these guys generally hate getting wet, not the Turkish Van. It's actually known as the swimming cat because it likes to take a dip in Turkey's Lake Van. The female of this breed usually weighs between 7 and 12 pounds, while the male will weigh between 10 and 20 pounds. Since it likes water so much, you might find it playing in the sink or hopping into the bathtub, but then it'll follow you around the house and try to nest in your lap as soon as you sit down. Number 8. The British Shorthair Look at that face! Ah, This is the British Shorthair, guys. It's a really affectionate cat, but it isn't clingy. It'll enjoy curling up next to you instead of in your lap. This breed is said to mature slowly, like between three and five years, so expect a playful, alert, and intelligent cat who wants to play and really dig kids. Although it can be kind of reserved with strangers, especially if they're French. <laughs> just, just kidding. The British Shorthair quickly warms up when you give it love. Number 7. Siberian you won't be surprised to learn that the Siberian cat originates from Russia, which also explains its really dense and long coat, which protects it from the harshest cold climates. The Siberian can get very large, and not just from the fluff of its coat, and it seems many oversized breeds of cats are descendants of this hefty guy. Number 6. Norwegian Forest Cat the Norwegian forest cat originates from Norway, obviously, and is said to have been introduced by the Vikings in 1000 AD. It has many characteristics in common with the Siberian cat. As its name clearly indicates, the breed comes from the harsh Scandinavian forests, but it has since been completely domesticated and is probably one of the mellowest and relaxed cats you'll ever meet. But back in the day, Norwegian farmers used this breed for catching mice. This guy was a champ! But if you do get a Norwegian, make sure he doesn't lie down on your chihuahua. Poor little guy be in big trouble, and I'm not talking about the cat. Number 5. The Ragamuffin is a strongly built breed of cat with a dense muscle structure. It will take 4 to 5 years to gain full maturity and will probably take at least 3 years, some even longer, to reach its adult weight, around 10-15 pounds for the female and as much as 20 pounds for the male. Number 4. The Ragdoll the Ragdoll has a lot in common with the Ragamuffin doll, and it's not just in the name. The Ragdoll is a large, long-haired cat that has a really sweet, calm temperament and kind nature. They're not much for adventure and like to loaf around the house, which is great for quiet people who have a lot of time to pet and stroke a big cat that craves attention. The female Ragdoll will generally weigh between 10 and 15 pounds, and the male can reach between 15 and 20 pounds. Number 3. Chaucy the Chaussee is originally from Africa and rare in the UK or the US. They are bred and sold in France, so some Brits will cross over and pay top dollar, or I guess I should say top pound or top euro, to lay their hands on one of these cute little kittens. The Chaussee grows up to be a very attractive cat that looks a lot like many wildlife felines. Well, they did tell you they were originally from Africa, right? They can become pretty impressive like their wild ancestors too, but could obviously be adopted and live domesticated lives. By the way, the adult female Chaussee will range in weight between 8 and 15 pounds, while the male can reach up to 22 pounds. That's Garfield size! Number 2. Maine Coon The Maine Coon is a beautiful breed of cat that certainly deserves to be on our list. Weighing anywhere between 9 and 18 pounds, contrary to what you might think, this feline isn't fat. It's really muscular. It also is incredibly friendly and usually gets along with everyone, and I mean everyone, including dogs and fellow felines. What's particularly cool about the Maine Coon is how easygoing it is, so much so that you might be able to walk it on a leash while you walk his pal, the dog. Number 1. Savannah Cat the largest domestic cat breed is believed to be the savanna. Of course, some people will argue that the savanna isn't actually a breed but a mix, a creation of sorts, a cross between domestic cats, especially the Siamese, and the serval, which is an African wildcat. 
In the UK, the savannah isn't very common and isn't even recognized as a breed by the governing council of the cat fancy, whereas in the United States, the savannah is considered a breed in its own right. If you're considering getting a savannah, vets and experts say you should consider its really unique needs carefully. The UK's RSPCA feels that the wild nature of this cat, if left roaming and hunting around outside, could affect the natural wildlife in the country. Can you imagine? That's probably because some individuals from the species, the ones closer to the survival side of their ancestry, can grow as big as 30 pounds. And that's the size of a medium dog. 